Hey everyone, it's Austin, and welcome back to the channel. It's day 302 on my journey to 2000, where I'll be uploading a video every day until I make it there, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, and let's play. Alright, after yesterday's two draws, we have the Black Pieces against an 1800 from Germany. Yesterday's two draws were pretty funny, weren't they? Weren't they? Okay, so we get the Ross Limo. Oh, interesting. That makes me want to play this now. It does, it does. So let's do it. Hmm. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Funny enough. I struggle against these Ross Limo ideas. I really do. Hmm. If I go here now. You can push, you can do a million things. It's just really difficult for me to castle now. I think I'm still going to do this, I guess. Because otherwise I don't see how I'm castling anytime soon. Problem is that I have no way to stop e5, so my dark sword bishop is actually kind of gonna suck. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna get mated. <laughs> I'm gonna be really honest. Like, I am absolutely gonna get mated here. Um, probably take Pawn takes is smart Let's develop the light squared bishop And I'd love to be able to move my knight just, you know, anywhere. But I think, let's go here and here. <laughs> also wanting to trade queens. Because I don't really feel like getting mated. Hmm. Let's go here. Interesting. I'm going to execute my plan now. This is probably a really good move. Yep. Let's have my knight sit nicely on this square, controlling these dark squares, hitting this. You can just play this and my knight's trapped. Yep. Alright. Doing good, doing good.
You guys want to see something funny? Technically, this move defends the pawn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You win. You win the pawn. You win, you win. You win the pawn, buddy. Buddy boy. This is purely an exercise in understanding the opening. Like, I don't care if I lose this game because I just want to learn about the opening. Um, wow, that's a strong move. Interesting. I'll take that. And we'll go here. I guess we'll try to undermine the pawn because what else can we do? I mean, this is positionally crushing for him. Like emphasis on the word crushing. go here before we get ourselves in trouble yeah the thing is the queen was coming in here so we kind of had to do this anyway so i guess let's just come up so that way the night check or the night coming in isn't check but i mean we are we are toast <laughs> absolutely toast here on I mean I I literally have nothing the rook is defended check here Queen can slide in, making room for his knight to come in and mate me. He has a lot of different moves here. Just got completely outclassed this game. It's very clear that this guy has like a really strong understanding of, um, that's a really good move. It's clear that he has a really strong understanding of the opening that he's playing. So more than anything, I'm just really impressed. I have to take, otherwise he takes the bishop, and then he ends up up two pieces. So, let's just go ahead and get that over with. I have to control the C file, otherwise his rook's coming down to mate me. So it's just kind of like delaying the inevitable at this point. I'm going to keep playing though. 
that's technically going to be a promotion with check. So, uh, yeah, GG. Yeah, I mean, that's just GG's. That guy absolutely slaughtered me. Big kudos to him, man. That guy was a killer. So D5 right away is the move. It's not a Rosalima because he didn't play Knight F3. I got my ideas mixed up. Castling is obviously a mistake. Okay, so my, my big problem was putting my Knight on E7, to be honest. Like, even right here. Like, it's 0.7. Like, I just need to play this. If he plays this, then I can start playing knight e7 ideas. But here, um, you know, knight f3, knight f6 is where you really want it to go. e5, then we go knight d7, putting pressure on the pawn. Um, castles. Bishop a6. Trying to develop pieces this way. Okay, bishop e7. Yeah, I mean, this was just... I didn't have a plan. I mean, I just tried to make some improving moves. At this point, it's already plus four. Like, bro is literally a killer. Yep. How long has he been playing, man? This guy is good. Start of February this year. Last 30 days, he's gained 450 points. Word. Good for him, man. All right, let's go ahead and play another one, because that was really fast. All right. 1790 against an 1804 from Ukraine. So technically, D5... And my lesson last night I found out is a mistake. Yeah, so now this is more like it. Interesting. So we have the Queen's Indian. Against the Queen's Indian, when people... That's an interesting move. What's stopping me from just going here or here or anywhere that just defends that pawn? Queen c2 is a move that is normally played anyway, so I think let's just go ahead and do that. Kind of confusing, to be honest. He's got to stake his claim in the center of the board here, like he has to play d5. If not, I'm playing e5 to play e4, or sorry, e4 to play e5. I can say, honestly, I've never seen this move here before. All right, well, that's good. Controls this square for him. Which is what he wants to do, or it's what he should want to do, at least. Alright, so now let's castle. Continue doing normal stuff. Probably knight c3 before rook e1. Now not. Okay, so we can take and this pawn is hanging actually. So this is a bit of a mistake by me, I think. Maybe I should have taken. Takes, knight takes. E4 is possible in that position. Um, just spit out the move a bit too fast there. Takes, queen takes. 
it becomes more complicated to defend this pawn i might need to play like e3 now instead which just kind of sucks to be honest so yeah i don't know what he plays here he might play this I might just play this in castle Probably should have just done this and let him take the pawn. Yeah, I'm not. I guess he's calculating taking. Queen's Indian is another one that I am not really sure how to deal with in the Catalan just yet. Yeah, I guess, I don't know what the long wait is for, to be honest. Here, I'll probably just take. Maybe he's just trying to come up with a plan. But he's getting, like, you know, he's spending a lot of time here. Alright, so he chooses to take. This is the most reasonable move that defends the pawn. Potentially walks into this. Then I think I have check. Takes here. Maybe I shouldn't be so scared to give this pawn up. Could always play this as well. Okay. Let's just look at something for the sake of discussion. If I play knight c3, he plays takes, takes. Takes, takes. Takes, here. I don't think that that's good. I think I need to take this pawn. I mean, I don't think that if I all of it for the same reason we're going to end up trading these bishops when the knight is able to get off this diagonal and I just don't want to do that like plain and simple yeah Yeah, I think it's time for me to give up the pawn now. Well, it's not giving it up anymore. Well, I suppose it is. He could trade this and then take it, but I think that that would be, like... A big mistake, to be honest. That's an interesting move. That is, that's a weird one. I gotta, I gotta say, that's a weird one. That just walks right into this, Austin. Stupid. Think about it for a second, man. Just think about it before you just start blitzing out moves. It's okay. I don't think it's losing yet or anything. But if I was him, I'd be playing that move in, like, literally a heartbeat. 
The queen never really goes on d2 in the Catalan anyway. I don't even know why I played this. Probably because I'm getting so impatient with him playing slow, but that's never a good way to be. Things could go pretty south for him if he doesn't play this, though. Getting this move in. Having the opportunity to potentially trade the light squared bishops. Like, if he, if I go here and he goes back and I go here. Or if he goes here and I go here. Just trading the light squared bishops, unleashing this attack at the same time. It's going to be pretty strong, I think. That is a strange move. That is a very strange move. I think I need to move the queen back anyway to put my knight on d2 to play e4. If I go here, does he have this? Is the question. And the answer is he does. So maybe I have to play this first. This first, because there's no threat. Otherwise, it also stops this move, which probably would have been very strong on the last move as well. And then I think this... Um, uh -oh. Okay. Well, that sucks. Wow, what a peculiar position. So he'll be up at least in exchange. If I go here, he can get out, takes, get another rook for his trouble for two pieces, but I don't know what else to do. I mean, my pieces are so freaking tangled up. I just trap my own queen, bro. What a weird game. He played complete, like, this is book, apparently. And yeah, I needed to take. I played the right things, but then I got all mixed up. Big blunder there. Should have just played queen back, but then what about this move? I, I have to play knight a3, I guess? Just a3. Why? What about this? Knight e5. Okay. And now he's trapped. All right, man. I'll, I'm going to play a third one. That one pissed me off. I'm not going to lie. I should have... Like, he was playing really slow, and he wasn't playing um, the best moves. He was playing, like, kind of tricky. And I just completely fell for the tricks. So, like, that sucks. <laughs> Man, I was so close to hitting 1800, too. Alright, so we got the open Catalan now. I don't know what this line is. But I'm pretty sure it's not great. Let's take.
His light squared bishop is just terrible now, sitting behind all of this. If he goes here, I play this move, like instantly. Takes. Now it doesn't work because my knight's here, actually. If he goes here and I go here, takes, takes, you can take this. And he gets two pieces for the rook. So much theory to know in the Catalan. Feels like it's been a different game every single time. If he goes here, I probably have to do this, to be honest. He's really thinking too. Be a lot better if he didn't. Okay, so I think on this move, I was considering taking and going night, night out, but I think I should just develop a piece probably, right? Gaining further control of this square. This move. I could probably play this. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That move. Pretty weird. Tempted to go here to try to induce a weakness. But he could just play. He doesn't play. He doesn't have to play the F pawn. He could just play the other pawn. I could just go here. Same story. Try to induce the weakness. If he trades, then I'm happy to activate my light squared bishop. If he pushes here, then I was figuring that I'll just come back here. And if he takes, then my pawns are doubled, but... I kind of like that position. Except I just made my knight terrible by doing this. That's good. This knight literally has no squares now. So that's good. Pretty short-sighted of me, but I mean, all my moves have been pretty short-sighted today. Okay, so now this knight doesn't have any squares either. So that's pretty exciting. Thinking about this move, getting control over this. If I go here, he's probably gonna go here. Making a ton of weaknesses. Maybe I just need to play this.
I mean, this night, like, I'm shooting myself in the foot so hard, man. Maybe I should just do this. This bishop being here, I can't believe that I've allowed this. It's so bad for me. I would also love to be able to activate my bishop, though. So if I go here and he goes here, and I play f3 and he goes here. Well, I can't even play f3 actually because my king is pinned. So what would I play? I would just lose the freaking pawn. I don't know. Let's play h3 to prevent that. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, and he just has a really simple move like that. Both of my knights are terrible. At least he's helping me improve this one. Mighty kind of him. Yeah, that pawn is going to be such a weakness for me, isn't it? Let's go here. And I'm going to go here next, probably. In a way, I'm helping him attack that pawn. Let's go here and... Now, if you move the knight, this hangs. trying to make some progress it's not easy looking for ideas looking for moves my position is pretty rough right now to be honest I think this is an improvement though. Now my knight can come here, potentially. All right, man, I'm done for the day. Sorry that I'm playing bad today, guys. Sorry about that. It's all book. Play the best moves until here. Goes from plus one to equal. Knight here. I don't understand the purpose of this. If you take this, then what? We play G takes and we're just fine with that. Okay. Never in a million years would I think that that move is fine. Yeah, terrible, dude. All right. I'm going to play one more. <laughs> I'm going to play one more. I mean, I'm just like... Oh, come on, Austin. Focus. It's all right. I mean, what even is that move, bro? Playing the Shigorin. Terrible. You can already play E4. Let's go here in Castle. My knight is already trapped, by the way. My knight is literally trapped.
Let's hope for some reason he takes that pawn. I'm going to assume that he's good enough to not do that. Okay, let's take. Perfect. Yeah, I'm ready to... <laughs> I'm so bad, man. I'm so bad, bro. Like, what What even is C3? C6? What is C6, bro? Like, what is C6? On my freaking mother, dude. I don't even have a good answer for that. Yeah, I mean, I should just resign, to be honest. I should literally just resign. Like, I have nothing. Like, nothing, bro. What am I doing? Please, Austin. Pay attention. If I go here, apparently I'm just fine. Okay. That, nobody does that, though. Like, if you do that, you just lose because your king is weak. All right. Spent the past week getting back up to 1800 and I'm going to throw it away in one day again. All right, bro. Let's move to... Come on. Smith Moore Gambit. Transpose into the Alpin. That is not... A good move. Um, but do I know why? No. No, I don't. If I go here, I think he plays this. I guess do I go back? I literally don't know what to play here. If I go here, queen here. This has got to be some sort of prep that I've never seen before. It's always on the days that you're tilted that you get prep against you that you've just never seen before. No, I'm going to be safe. I'm going to go knight c7. There's no way I can allow him to connect his pawns. That would be terrible for me. This is such a peculiar position. I mean, talk about weird, man. Talk about weird. Hang on to that pawn, baby. Hang on to that pawn. Go ahead. Go on back now. No? You're no fun. I'm up a pawn, baby. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to hang on to it for dear life, too. Oh, 
Let's go here to defend this. So we can go here, I think. I just walked right into this. If he goes here, I might go here, to be honest. That seems pretty good. For now, I'm just up a pawn. And I'm playing as fast as him, which is crazy, isn't it? Did we lose three or four games so far? Four. That sucks, man. That sucks pretty bad. It's okay. Um, I feel like I'm learning a lot. Playing very interesting and flexible positions here. Yeah, here, I think here. That way, if takes, takes. Um, defending this pawn, consolidating my pawns, undoubling, like, doing a million things at once. Defended by the knight. And then I can easily defend with more pieces. And then maybe I'll have um, knight of four as an idea later on. I'm not sure what else he plays here. I mean, he, I mean, like the pawn pushes don't seem great. Again, if you push and help me fix my pawns, I'm very happy here. If you take this and help me fix it, well, hold on. Maybe he goes here and then here. Then I'd probably just come back defending this pawn a second time and um, maybe trying to push at some point. That's a little clunky though. Maybe I can just give the pawn back and be ahead in development in that position. Maybe I take with the queen instead. That doesn't seem to yield any benefit. Yeah, I don't think that that does anything for me. I think trying to keep some of the pawns together would be good. Like if I can marry these three. I kind of like the idea of like the position feels a little bit more closed in the center right now. So I like the idea of trying to trade these bishops to keep my two, <clears throat> keep my two knights strong. Excuse me. Um, he's really deep in the tank here. He's been thinking for quite a while. Sorry, I got something in my throat. <laughs> um, yeah, super deep in the tank. He's down like four minutes on the clock here. Just kind of weird. Oh man, he's got a similar uh, past couple games to me right now. Wow, he's never played a single blitz or bullet game. That's pretty crazy.
Wow, he's played 20,000 rapid games. That's crazy. How many have I played? Yeah, I've played less than a thousand rapid games, guys. That's why these people play faster than me, because they... <laughs> no wonder they have a better intuition. I've had my account created for a while, but I really, like... One, I didn't play that much, and two, when I... When I do play, I really try to focus more on the quality of my games instead of, like, playing a large amount. Like, I also try to make sure that I analyze all my games and stuff. Um, okay, so that's just a pawn for me. So I think I'm going to take it. not really seeing a problem with this as of yet this disconnects the bishop's vision i don't see a reason why we wouldn't just play this I can also consider making a move like this to just try to get that bishop off the board. But his bishop will be able to find solace on d5 in the holes of my pawns. <laughs> if he ends up with a piece on either of these squares pushing, it's going to be pretty strong for your boy. He's down to two minutes here, which is a little bit sketchy. Game over versus Tiny Frisbee. Rest in peace, Alex. So I was already holding up a pawn, and now I'm up two pawns. My position feels pretty comfy. I don't feel like there's any tactics. He, he just resigns. That's weird. Okay, so knight b4 technically was the best move. Knight f3. Just hitting the pawn. d6. Trying to free up my pieces. I mean, I'm just curious. Like, what if he... Um, what if he plays a3? Queen a5 pins it. Also threatening the discovered attack. A takes B4 is technically the best continuation for white. That's crazy. What about, like, something more normal? Like, what about, like, knight C3? Oh, no, sorry, sorry. What about, like, bishop here? This pawn is hanging with check. Yeah, see, my board vision today is just very subpar for sure. This is a miss because we could have played this. And then what? This? Queen f6. Oh my god. That that, that geometry is beautiful. So I was, I've technically been better. This was a step backwards for me. Here it's minus one. Miss. By him because he could have just done this. But I probably would have played the same thing. Now here, knight d3 is technically better. Knight c6 is still good, though. It says a mistake. But, I mean, it's minus one, so. Alright, guys. I'm going to go back and review the other games that I kind of glazed over while I was annoyed. Um, this first game really came down to a lack of knowledge of theory. So in the anti-Sicilian where they play knight c3 instead of knight f3, I need to remember that I don't have to play like, because my brain goes in either Rosalimo mode or my brain goes in um, the Grand Prix attack mode. And in my mind, I have two options. My options are let him take 
or go knight e4 or yeah knight d4 and it's like neither are correct for this um peculiar variation where d5 is best and then uh you know just knight f3 uh knight f6 and like we already looked at that it just continues normally even here this was okay i mean like what about this what about i mean this knight just has nothing bro i mean it's almost plus one so it'd be kind of like making the best of a bad situation this is the best this is the best move oh because if you take then this hangs with a fork but it's still plus two Bishop e3 hits on the pawn. And we're just screwed. F6. Alright. That's how screwed our position was there. Yeah, this guy was a killer. Absolute maniac. So technically it was best to sack here. And if you take, then we can take this with pressure on the pawn, but it's plus six. Like, who cares? This is technically the best move, but even then, check here. Can't push anymore. Fair enough. That was the first game. Let me close out of these other tabs. Let me try to open them all in one tab. Or, at once. Alright. So this, I played too fast. I realized that takes is probably the best. And then after this, um, knight c3 was probably going to be my move. It's not liking knight c3. Uh, I wouldn't really play bishop f4. But bishop f4... I always forget when I play bishop f4 that knight d5 is an idea, just like what he played in the game. And here, um, you know, you should always think what's your opponent's next move going to be, and I just didn't. Because I feel like this would have been really good. Um, and then I have to go back to d1, which is where my queen wanted to go anyway. It's technically plus two, but he has the whole initiative here. Here, I was thinking that this was going to be a problem for us. And I still don't remember what we're supposed to do to stop it. Is it this move? No. Oh yeah, because remember when that happened to me in the game? Um, what is the move? Is this the move? Bishop f4. And if he goes here, knight e5 takes on g2. Queen takes. What? We're just going to allow him to have a light squared bishop? Because his knight is trapped? Oh my god, his knight is trapped. I mean, that's just disgusting. So yeah, big blunder by me. Not very often you have a knight on a5 that's ready to hop into b3. And then that was this was an even bigger blunder. That move's kind of hard to see though, defended by the knight. I mean, like, obviously it's findable. I'm not trying to say anything like that, but it's not very often that you see something like that. So here I did know some of the moves and I found the right ones, but here. Sorry, this was the the game where knight e, knight d5 hit my bishop in a weird way but i guess next time we need to realize that who cares takes takes um this should be seven defending this square and we're just up a pawn there's no chance in hell that i'm taking that with the bishop just not gonna happen King f8. Why not just like this? Knight d6 is hilarious. The knights are swarming, I guess. So 
so this just defends, but I'm also like stepping into this kind of idea. Bishop f8 is the best move, apparently. Whatever. Um, I didn't think that this was the problem. Like here, we're equal. Obviously, the problem was me hanging my freaking knight in one move. Um, so that's that. I don't even play this against the Joe Bava. I play this, and then after this, I play a6, and then after e3, I play c5. And this is my weapon of choice against the Joe Bava. And then after dc, I usually play, um, I usually play knight c6. Yeah. I mean, I saw G5 as an idea, but I was like, honestly, I felt like I was going to lose either way. Oh my god, he hung his queen. That's even worse. Dude, don't hang up on, like, okay, I get it, you're here now. Um. Alright, and then this is the last one, is this the one that I won? Yeah, I mean, this one was pretty straightforward. Alright guys, I'm being summoned. So, here we lost 24 ELO. Let's get it back tomorrow. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you then.